activity it is easy to visualize the metrical aspects hello everyone this is yash pratap singh from class 11th maths group today we are going to verify basic proportionality theorem which is also known as thiel's theorem to demonstrate this activity we have made an assembled model in which two graduated scale are attached parallelly to each other to a cardboard base and between these two graduated scale i scale is attached which is parallel to the base supported by these two pulleys as we know that thiel's theorem states that if a line l is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two side at distinct point then the other two side of a triangle are divided in the same ratio now we are going to verify thiel's theorem in three cases where we have an acute angle triangle an equilateral triangle and a scalene triangle so let us take case first when we have an acute angle triangle now you can see that this is an acute angle triangle says pqr now let us verify this for an acute angle triangle this is scale representing line l which is parallel to the side pr of this triangle pqr now let us adjust this scale at any point now you can see that this line is intersecting the other two side of triangle pqr this line is intersecting pq at c and qr at d now we have to see whether qc upon cp is equal to qd upon dr now on measuring we can see that qc is equal to 12 cm and cp is equal to 12 cm qd is equal to 12.5 cm and dr is equal to 12.5 cm now on measuring we can see that qc is equal to 12 cm and cp is equal to 12 cm qc upon cp is equal to 12 upon 12 which is equal to 1 upon 1 qd is equal to 12.5 cm and dr is equal to 12.5 cm QD upon DR is equal to twelve point five upon twelve point five, which is equal to one upon one. So QC upon CP is equal to QD upon DR. It shows that the other two side are divided in the same ratio. Let us take the second case where a triangle is an equilateral triangle. Now you can see that this is an equilateral triangle, says X Y Z, with all three equal sides. now let us verify this for an equilateral triangle and again this line l is parallel to the side xz of this triangle xyz let us take point e and f at this triangle which intersecting yx at e and yz at f now on measuring we can see that ye is equal to 11 cm and ex is equal to 7 17 cm and yf is equal to 11 cm and yn is equal to 17 cm now on measuring we can see that ye is equal to 11 cm and ex is equal to 17 cm yf is equal to 11 cm and fn is equal to 17 cm this so that ye upon ex is equal to yf upon f it shows that the other two sides are divided in the same ratio now let us take the third case now we have an scalene triangle now you can see that this is an scalene triangle with all the three different sides says l m n now let us verify this for an scalene triangle i 
and again this line l is parallel to the side ln of this triangle lmn let us take point a and b at this triangle which intersecting lm at a and nm at b now on measuring we can see that ma is equal to 7 cm al is equal to 14 cm mb is equal to 8 cm and bn is equal to 16 cm ma is equal to 7 cm and al is equal to 14 cm mb is equal to 8 cm and bn is equal to 16 cm so ma upon al is equal to 7 upon 14 which is equal to 1 upon 2 and mb upon bn is equal to 8 upon 16 which is equal to 1 upon 2 so ma upon al is equal to mb upon bn it shows that the other two sides are divided in the same ratio this is how we prove that if a line l is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle intersecting the other two side at distinct point then the two side of a triangle are divided in the same ratio thank you